Okay. Now let us understand the basic programming constructs such as declaring variables, invoking functions, etc. So make sure uh, the Python is launched. In this case, I am uh, launching Python on the lab itself. Um, if you don't have lab access, make sure you set up Python on your uh, Windows or Mac or Linux uh, environment and launch Python like this. And then uh, uh, Python is a weakly type of programming language. So you don't need to uh, specify the data types. Okay, it's not uh, uh, statically typed. So you, there is no place where you will actually define the data types for your variables. For example, if I want to create a variable by name A, we have to initialize it to a value and based upon the value we are assigning, it will inherit the type. And if you want to see the information about the type of the variable, you can just set type and then pass the variable name as argument and it will give the data type. Uh, so Python supports all the data types, uh, all standard uh, uh, data types such as integer, um, uh, string, uh, float, double, um, boolean, etc. So same thing if I say a equal to true, now if I say type of a, it is of type bool. Similarly if I say a equal to 100.0, and then say type of a, it is of type float. And another frequently used data type is string. I can say equal to hello. And then type of a is of type str. So if you want to convert uh, the data types, uh, for example, now if I say a equal to 100 in double quotes, and if I say type of a, it is of type string. If I want to change it to uh, the integer, I can say int of a, and now uh, int of a returns uh, uh, the number in the form of integer. I can say type of int of a, and uh, it will be of type integer. This is how you can declare variables, very uh, uh, basic stuff. And then, um, as I have shown you, we have actually invoked several functions like type, print, etc. Uh, one common function which we typically use is print. So if you want to print something, uh, some string, you can say print of hello world. Print is function in this case which takes string and prints the content, uh, prints the string on the standard out. And then as part of the basic programming constructs, we will also see conditional statements, while loop, for loop, etc. Uh, so for, a, for this purpose, I just want to uh, have a range of values and perform certain basic operations uh, using this conditional while loop, for loop, etc. So if I want to create a range of values, I can say L equal to range of 1 comma 100 and then it will create a list it is called as list and the range doesn't include the upper bound so it actually created values from 1 to 99 okay now using this loop while loop or conditional we will try to iterate through this list and then uh, we will try to perform certain operations okay so um, you can see that this 1 to 99 are in square brackets. Um, list is nothing but a collection of elements and each element uh, in this collection is of type integer because uh, range actually return all the integers between the lower bound and upper bound minus 1. Okay. So now let us say I want to uh, get only even numbers from this range and I want to add it to some value okay so i will create a variable by name res equal to zero because res will contain uh, the intermediate values until all the numbers are added uh, the intermediate sum until all the numbers are added and finally we will uh, res will contain the final value after all the values in the list are added and we'll try to print the result and as part of this 
if I just want to print everything, I can say in this case I'm talking about looping using for for i in okay l l is nothing but list for i in l I'm saying less plus equal to uh, i which means less equal to less plus i either I can say less equal to less plus i or less plus equal to i it started with zero here i initialized less equal to less to zero and now i am iterating through all the elements in l l is nothing but list in this case so i am iterating through all the elements in l and i am adding those elements to the less and then hit enter now you can see print of less and uh, 1 to 99 if you add it's 4950 okay and, and it is correct value now if i want to make it a bit more interesting and if i want to only get um, uh, the sum of even numbers not uh, all the numbers but only sum of even numbers then as part of the for loop i can uh, check whether each element is even number or not and only add the even numbers to the result so i am reinitializing rest to zero Otherwise, it will keep on adding to 4950 and then for i in L, okay, um, and here if you see before and even now, I am actually indenting by hitting two spaces. So in uh, Python, when you try to develop uh, uh, a block of code such as for loop, while loop, if condition, uh, functions, anything, the scope is defined by indentation okay if i have multiple statements uh, within a for loop it has to be indented at to the to the same level otherwise it will start throwing either errors or inconsistent results indentation is very very uh, important proper indentation is very very important sometimes it will syntactically work but it will start throwing incorrect results okay so as part of this for loop i want to check whether each element is even or not for that i can use if condition if i mod is the operation which will return the reminder so as i am interested only in the sum of integer numbers i can say i mod 2 equal to 0 okay and then again uh, it ends the if condition so whether it is for loop or if condition you have to put colon in the end uh, and then now I want to write some logic as part of this if condition so I have to indent further so if I indent up to only here then it will try to get to the scope of for loop which is not correct it might throw in syntax error let's see I'm sorry rest plus equal to i see here indentation error expected and indented block so we cannot indent to the same level of if condition uh, as part of the if we have to write at least one line of code so i am indenting now uh, so whatever i am writing uh, uh, whatever uh, code i am writing here uh, in multiple lines with with the four space indentation will be within the scope of if condition so I am now adding rest plus equal to i. So only if i mod to returns uh, i mod to equal to zero. Uh, only in case if it is true, then I am adding i to the result. Otherwise, I just want to ignore. Okay. So uh, if you see after each enter, uh, it is going to the first uh, first column, first column. Uh, and uh, based upon uh, the code we have to indent properly in this case I am done with it so if I hit enter twice if, if, um, uh, with the blank line then uh, it will come out of the code this, this is how you actually develop as part of REPL okay now if I say res you can see it's only 2450 not 4950 because we are only adding even numbers, excluding odd numbers.
okay if you want to both add even numbers and odd numbers and assign it to different uh, variables we can say result even equal to 0 result odd equal to 0 and then as part of the for loop if it is even I am trying to add it to the rest even else so if you have only single line of code you can directly say else like this rest odd plus equal to i okay I think this is not correct we cannot uh, do like this oh okay I'm sorry and then uh, each and every condition like if fails etc has to end with colon and then I have to say this odd plus equal to i and then you can say less even which will give the sum of even numbers and this odd which will give the sum of odd numbers this is how you can club the for loop and if condition if you want also if you want to use while loop for similar uh, uh, similar stuff you can say uh, rest equal to 0 and uh, also i equal to 1 and then you can say while i less than or equal to 100 let's say i want to add all the numbers from 1 to 100 so i is lower bound and uh, upper bound is defined here and i am comparing as part of the while loop and then again to end uh, the specification of the condition uh, or loop like if while for etc we have to use uh, uh, a colon at the end and then in this case i just want to add uh, each i um, to result and also i have to increment i each time by 1 i plus equal to 1 and then hit enter uh, so after each iteration i will be incremented by 1 and uh, also uh, i will be added to the result now if you see output of rest it's 5050 so this is the basic introduction or uh, brief introduction about conditional uh, statements such as if loops such as while and for okay and uh, we will see those things uh, more in detail as we proceed further and um, uh, so that being said uh, just practice with simple examples um, and uh, and then we will see the rest of the stuff uh, in detail